Hey. All right. Uh, I know it's a little late, but uh, I said I was going to do a review of the finale after the finale had aired. I had to work that night. Like, literally, when the episode ended, I had to go to work. Like, I, I had to be there at midnight, so. Shit! What's going on with my hair today? Okay. And I've been busy with school. A play. And other stuff. So, I'm actually doing this in between, uh, <laughs> other stuff and uh, finishing a paper for my sociology final tomorrow. Uh, what did I think of the finale of Lost? I loved it. I mean, it's not going to be... What's the best way to do this? Every finale that I've seen has always been my favorite since the last finale. Like, example, I loved Through the Looking Glass. I thought that was like one of the greatest Lost finales ever. And then There's No Place Like Home aired. And I kept watching it all, fucking, you know, for like the summer through the fall until season five premiered. And thinking, oh, this fucking rocks. This is awesome. Season five's gonna kick ass. And then The Incident aired. And anyone that saw the incident, you know, had their minds blown at the end of that episode. And spent the next eight months going, what the fuck just happened? I watched that episode at least 20 times. Between when that aired and when LAX aired. Uh, the thing with the finale, uh, the end, I've seen it a couple of times. And I like it. I really like it. I think it's one of the greatest series finales I'll ever see. But, uh... What's the best way to explain this? I'm fine with the fact that I didn't get a whole lot of answers. Which I had already accepted I wasn't going to get answers. So, you know, that's cool. I don't really care about that. Um, but it just, I don't know, it feels like there's more. Um, which I, I just, I hope that some of the stuff that I'm wondering is going to be covered in the epilogue. Uh, the epilogue is going to be, I think it's like 20, a uh, 20 minute look into the events after Jack died. Uh, like how Ben and Hurley ran things on the island. Uh, they're going to explain the food drops and show Walt and, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. I'm, uh, hmm. I don't know. I, I just feel like uh, <laughs> I keep waking up uh, saying to myself, I can't wait till the next episode of Lost. I mean, it's over, and I know it's over, but inside, like somewhere deep, deep inside, I don't think I've accepted that it's over. I think there's a part of me that's still like in denial that you know, thinking, oh my god, this, uh, there's like a whole nother season to go. And I know there isn't, but, uh, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt to pretend that it went on. Like, I want to know how Kate died. I really want to know how Kate died. Because I hate Kate. I fucking hate Kate. Anyways, um, what parts really touched me? 
some of the scenes where characters would remember what had happened on the island uh, really touched me. And it wasn't Saeed's. I never... And I never got into the character of Saeed. Um, the ones that did touch me were the ones where Sun and Jin remembered, the ones where Sawyer and Juliet remembered, and the one that really got me crying like a baby. Uh, had to hold it in the first time my friend was here, but I went back and watched it and just cried in the library. Uh, the one where Charlie and Claire remembered, because Charlie's one of my favorite characters. And despite him being dead, I was such a loyal viewer that I continued to watch it. Okay. I think I got it. Almost got it. Close enough. Awesome. Doesn't that look like Mr. James? Yeah, that looks like James. Wait. There we go. Perfect. So, some updates. I recently went to uh, Supercon in Miami this weekend. Enjoyed it. Got to meet a lot of people. Uh, for anyone that was at Supercon and attended the 2 o'clock Dana Snyder panel at, on Saturday, I was no stash. He pointed me out at the beginning of the panel, uh, had me stand up in front of everyone, turn around so everyone can see that I have a beard, but no stash. Hence the name, no stash. And every time I had a question... Uh, he and uh, Andy, who was also present at the panel, referred to me as No Stash. So it was a lot of fun. According to Dana Snyder, my name is No Stash. Uh, that night I went to see Rocky Horror for like the 60th some odd time. I don't know. I really want to start a... Uh, I want to start a, uh, a cast up here. There's a theater, not even a mile from my house, not even like a half, probably a half mile from my house. Uh, I want to start a, a midnight cast there, like do it like every week, or every other week. It doesn't really matter. I want to do it. It would make me happy. Because this way I could do Rocky Horror every time, and not have to go down to Hollywood to do it. Uh, stuff I'm doing this weekend I'm really excited about. I'm uh, going back down to Miami because Just the Funny is doing a very special improv show entitled Lost Prov. They're going to do an hour and a half show dedicated to Lost. I can't wait to see what happens. I'm, uh, I'm going to enjoy it greatly. I um, I don't know if anyone knows this, but I want an iPhone. I really want an iPhone. I really want an iPhone 4. But I cannot afford one. And my contract is not close to being up. Can't upgrade till next, next November. So in at the end of twenty eleven, I could get an iPhone. But by then, I'll be able to get an iPhone four for like a hundred dollars. So it doesn't matter. Anyways. That's pretty much it. Uh, stuff that I'm looking forward to do, uh, this week. Other than Lost Prov, uh, I'm looking forward to the return of Futurama. Really can't wait. It's been seven years since I've had new episodes. And I just hope Comedy Central uh, does it right. So, that whole chestnut. Peace out.